Hey guys, it's Jeannie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, another day. This is my weight loss journey vlog uh, four. It's um, actually day four. Um, I did weigh myself and actually I went up like 0.2. But I don't think that that's a bad thing. Um, I think that I should have just waited till tomorrow to um, to weigh myself because um, I think that I'll see more of a difference that way. Hopefully tomorrow I'll see like maybe a pound or 1.5 down or something. But yesterday I was actually, um, well, let me go ahead and backtrack and let you guys know what I did yesterday. After yesterday's vlog, I went, I went ahead and went home and I had a protein shake. And I also, um, for lunch, I actually had a salad. And I cooked up some meat, some um, pork loin and some steak. And I just cut them into a bunch of like little small little pieces. And we just uh, went ahead and threw that on top of our salad yesterday. We didn't have a lot of salad stuff um, yesterday, but um, yeah, we we just we just made the best of it, and that's what we ate for lunch. And then for the evening, well, when my husband got out of uh, work and my kids got out of school, um, we went ahead and walked around the neighborhood because it got late already, and it was like 5:30. And the sun was already going to go down, so we just decided to go ahead and go around the neighborhood, around all the apartments and stuff. And so I'm pretty excited because my husband was able to do one, um, like, like the whole subdivision, and that was actually a lot for him. And he was actually able to do it, so he was pretty happy, and I was pretty happy. And so he did one with us, with the kids and everything, while the kids were in the scooters and stuff. And I just went ahead and did one by myself. Well, actually, I took my daughter with me. And so I walked another one. So I did two yesterday. Wanted to do more, but sometimes, I mean, sometimes I can't. The kids or the sun goes down on me. I have things to do and stuff. But anyway, I still did two, so I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm happy my husband was able to do that too. So today I'm running a little late. It's already 12.02. 12, yeah, 12 it's already 12. Um, my daughter went late to school, like maybe 10 minutes. Um, I thought we were on time, but for some reason the clock was behind. I don't know. Um, but she got all dressed up and everything. Well, you know what? Let me get out of the car before I just start talking. And I can talk to you guys while I'm walking. So, yeah. There's like only like two guys here in a white truck. So, that's it. There's nobody else here. I don't see anybody else walking today. Lunch. <sighs> okay, so, um, so yeah, so I took my daughter like late for like I think it was like ten minutes. It was ten minutes. She was ten minutes late. I had to walk her in. But she was really happy because um, they were gonna celebrate. You know, they were gonna give each other Valentine cards today and everything. And um. On the paper they gave her for school, they said um, she could wear a Sunday dress. And so I got her all dolled up in a little dress. And none of the other little girls had dresses. And so they were all like staring at her. And she was all happy because everybody was staring at her. And uh, I did her nails pink. And she wore a purple headband. And she just looked super pretty. She was really happy. And I gave her a bag of candy so she could give to her friends. Snickers, by the way, and yeah, worked on my son's Valentine cards yesterday too. But anyway, besides the point. Okay, um, so then I was running late this morning, but I'm just gonna say, um, on my defense, I was super tired this morning. I was so cranky. I was so tired. I was moody, and my husband was like, "Well, somebody's gonna be." moody today and I'm like well everything hurts everything just ached this morning so I kind of just jumped in the shower and took a warm shower and that seemed to loosen up a little bit the muscles I guess and at least in my head it did um 
and so I feel a lot better. Um, I'm still really, really sore, guys, from the front of my legs. They really, really hurt. <sighs> but I gotta push through, gotta push through. So, yeah. Um, this morning, I wanted to have a protein shake, but I also wanted to go ahead and uh, prepare something different because I wanted to put something different on my. Facebook channel. I don't want to be just showing that all I have is protein chicks because <laughs> even though it's the easiest thing to do, but no. Um, I went ahead and made, um, I had seen a recipe a while back that some nutritionist had posted on a Facebook page like way, way, way back when I was like losing weight. Um, I had already done this before, but I hadn't done it in a while since I had stopped eating clean. So I decided to do it again. So what I did is I took a bunch of um, rolled, like old-fashioned oats, and I grinded it up in a little, like, it's like a small little blender my mom gave me. It actually makes things like super fine, almost like spice, like, almost, not that, not that fine, but anyway, um, so I grinded up all the oats, and... So it made them really, really, really small. And so you kind of just treat it like flour, you know? Like if you were to buy oat flour. And I added some, I added two eggs. I added some almond milk, but I didn't have the unsweetened. All I had was the one that had the vanilla sweetened flavor, and sweetened. Um, so, yeah. And... I added some cinnamon and I just mix it all up and I kind of tried to make it like a pancake but the consistency does not come out the same it's a lot more it's a lot thicker so it ends up kind of like a bread like a bread type um, so that actually you know helps me with my bread cravings so um, yeah I had that this morning and then I made some eggs so I had, I put that on the bottom, like a, like if it was a pancake or, or bread, whatever. And then I put eggs on top, and then I just cooked up some, uh, I had some ham, some smoked ham. And I kind of just heated that up on the pan, put that on top. And then I just added some shredded uh, mozzarella on top, just a little bit, not too much. And that's what me and my husband ate this morning. shake I'd be hungry by now but hopefully that'll keep me going and after this workout I'll probably go and have a then I'll have my protein shake but I'm gonna try to add less fruit this time even though I love fruit I'm gonna try to just do blueberries and maybe the lime maybe maybe I might throw a couple of peaches in there but just a little bit very very little because I really need to bring more of the carbs down just because I want to see the weight come down faster. I know that's not a good thing. I shouldn't be looking for a quick fix, but I just get kind of frustrated and I, like I wanted to wear something cute today. And I had this shirt, it was like a pink shirt that I got a while back on clearance when I got that other one that says makeup, selfies, boys, and pizza. I got the I got another shirt, it was a neon pink also, and it says I, I train like a girl, and it's super cute, but I don't like it because it's kind of see-through, and you can kind of see, like, some of the, it's not very even, it's not where I want it to be, it doesn't look good, so I took it off, and my husband's like, why did you change, and I'm like, because I don't want to, I don't like the way it looked, so I took it off, and I put this on. This one just says, don't act like you're not impressed. It's just a little black hoodie. But it's super thin. It's not even hot. It's super thin. I like it because um, the air gets through really, really easy. So, yeah. So, I'm just wearing all black today. I'm wearing this little black thing. This little black hoodie. Thin. 
and then I'm wearing just some black capris and my white Nikes. That's what I'm wearing, and I just put my hair up in a braid because my hair's all wet, and I don't want to look like a I don't want to look like a frizz ball with my hair everywhere. There's not a lot of air today, so hopefully my video is not so noisy. Anyway, um, I had to go on silence mode there for a little bit. There's people there. Anyway, so yeah. What else did we do yesterday? Oh, yesterday I was actually watching some videos on YouTube. I was actually watching some like transformation videos. That kind of motivates me. To watch other people's weight loss videos that helps it helps because you get to hear how they did theirs and everybody's different it just you just got to do what works for you but what I do know is that it seems to go back to knowing a little bit more about nutrition about knowing what you're supposed to be eating what you're supposed to be staying away from Knowing that you need to go back to natural things and not quick fixes because if you go to quick fixes you can end up gaining double your weight back. I didn't gain double my weight because if I was at 230 at the beginning I'd be weighing more than that right now and I'm not. I'm glad I stopped before I got there. So. Usually quick fixes will make you go back and gain double, so you don't want to do that. You want to actually eat healthy, do some research and learn about foods and learn about you know, what's good for your body, what, what helps um, keep it strong and healthy. See, the thing with me is I know all the well, not everything, but I know most of the rights, and I know what the wrongs are, and while I did gain some of the weight back, it wasn't because I brought a lot of junk back into my house. It wasn't that. It's just that I was eating out a lot more. I was lazy. I wanted to enjoy, you know, just going out, because for like three years, I was just preparing meals, preparing meals, you know, always making food at home, and it gets tiring after a while, you want to indulge a little bit, and once you start eating out, the food tastes good, it's not very filling, even though it might seem, it might seem like you're filled up, but it's only for a little bit, you end up just gaining a lot of weight, because most of these food companies put MSGs in their food and they put a lot of you know sugar and sodium and all this stuff into the food and then you crave it and you want to keep coming back for more and that's what I was doing I was always eating at Subway um, just Burger King Jack in the Box anywhere that I could get things cheap, free, and I didn't have to cook. So, I already stopped that. I'm not saying I'm never, ever, ever going to eat there again, because I'm sure I will, because the kids
kids want to go out and my husband wants to go out, but just make better choices. And so much so much weight back I mean come on I gained 44 pounds I know it's a lot of stress and not sleeping well and eating out all the time and I wasn't working out anymore as much I tried and then I give up and then I try and then I give up and not good I know for me it was it was not that I didn't know because I do know just that I chose. I chose to do things the wrong way. And now look, that's why my husband yesterday, I'm like, why do I let myself get to this point? And now look at me, I'm suffering. And he just shakes his head. He doesn't say very much. But I know I'll go down again. I'm keeping myself accountable. I like being outside of the house. I'm hoping I can help other people out. Hopefully these videos kind of help you get out there and move and maybe seeing how my progress is. Maybe you guys will start doing the same thing. Not being pushy or anything. Y'all can do what you want, but for me, I can just help a couple of people out, you know, make some changes. That's good. That's good enough for me. I've seen a lot of health issues going on in my family this past year and I don't wanna I don't wanna keep seeing them. And I don't wanna see them on my on myself. I'm gonna keep myself healthy for my kids, for my family. For myself, only get one body. Gotta take care of it. I noticed that yesterday in my video it was really loud. There's a lot of wind. Hopefully, this video is not like that. I'm getting closer to these guys over here, guys. So I might go a little silent mode for a little bit. We can talk. <laughs> Going on our third lap, guys. I'm starting to feel a little sweaty up here. And on my midsection, on my back. I need to start doing more weights. I didn't even get to do my weights yesterday. I thought about it this morning. I'm like, I should have. Instead of watching that transformation video, or I should have watched the transformation video and done my weights at the same time, but no, I just sat there. I need to stop doing that in my video. I keep noticing that I do that a lot. And this, I'm tired. My legs are hurting. Bye.
by 12.45 since I started late. This is our third, we're going on our third lap and we're 20 minutes in. 20? Yeah, 20. Probably not going to be doing this when the summer kicks in. <laughs> Way too hot. I'll probably just do these videos maybe in the evening. But it might be a little bit noisier because then all the kids are here. Or, no, it's going to have to be in the evening. Once I get home like early, early in the morning before I take my daughter to school. too hot and I'm gonna come mid-afternoon and it's like 105 degrees or something that'd be crazy it gets really hot down here in the valley lunch at one so I need to start making food at that time so probably have the salad that I had last night only because I still have some more to do and yeah I think that'd be the easiest thing to do is make that have another salad sun is really bright today. I feel like it's just hitting me. Okay, there's this man coming over here and walking. It creeps me out when there's just men here. working hard.
so. <laughs> Okay guys, it's gonna be our fourth one. Breaking a lot of sweat right now. <sighs> Last night I actually munched on some. I made my husband go and get me some spicy peanuts. I don't know what it is with me lately, but dang, I'm, I'm just craving a lot of spicy stuff. Not so much sweetness anymore, it's more spicy stuff. So he went and got me some at H-E-B. guys angle of the camera wasn't the best I was just passing the people <laughs> sorry I wish I could keep this camera more steady for you guys but I'm walking and last night me and my husband watched a movie um, he put the movie Cesar Chavez, I think that's what it's called. I had never seen that movie. And I was like, Cesar Chavez, the boxer? I thought, I thought it was a boxer. I'm pretty sure there's a boxer. He's like, no, not the boxer. And I was like, okay. He's like, it's like a, it's like a Mexican story. He went on a boycott and they brought a lot of people. Another Martin Luther King, but Mexican version. <laughs> so, it was a good movie. If you guys haven't watched it, you should tell, definitely watch it. It's a good movie. I liked it. <sighs> he fasted for like, it was 25 days. And my husband was like, it's a lot of days. And I was like, yeah. He was drinking water though, throughout the fast. Normally, fast you give up the, well there's different kind of fasts. But usually, when you fast, you don't eat or drink water. But he was drinking water. He just wasn't, he wasn't eating food. He was trying to get his point across to the union. And so he fasted for 25 days and he looked really sick. Devastated. They couldn't believe that that had happened to him. But yeah, that comes out in the movie. So basically, they're just being they're they're being mistreated. But really, it's the wages. They pay them like two dollars a day for picking grapes or for you know being in the labor. But they say it's a good movie. You guys should watch it. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. It's a good movie, you guys. You guys would like it. I liked it. The little old man that was sitting over there is walking. Good job. Stay healthy. If he can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Actually, yesterday, after leaving after the fourth lap, I felt pretty guilty because there was a lady in a walk.
So yeah. I'm telling you, if you wanna get to that age, you need to exercise. You need to eat more organic food. Once you guys see the result, and you're all going to be doing the same thing. You're going to be walking. You should be doing it already. But if you're not, you will be. You'll be walking in the morning. You'll be walking in the evening. You'll be eating fruits, vegetables, lean meats. You'll thank me later. Stay away from that coffee. Don't drink any coffee messes up your adrenals get better sleep take a vitamin dang it I forgot to take my supplement I was gonna take a B12 because usually in the afternoon I get like a little like they say that usually your blood sugar drops around that time like after you eat I should have taken a B12 Maybe I'll just take it when I get home I don't want to take it before I came here to the park because Vitamin B's make you go pee a lot. That's why I didn't take it. I don't want to be peeing. I don't like going here to the park. I need to take it. I used to buy one that they sold in Walmart. I'm sure they still do. It's a vitamin B complex, but the stress one, it's a stress vitamin B complex. And that one would keep me kind of calm. So I need to, I need to buy that. I need to get that again. Okay, how many minutes in? 32. Okay, guys, we just finished our fourth one. Let's do one more. We can do one more. baby and a kid and that's good for her you're trying to lose that baby weight or something and that little old man that passed by that keeps telling us hi <laughs> keeps saying hi um, he's doing his arm workouts in that machine over there good job <laughs> there was a little bit more air. I need more air. It's not good for the video because it's very windy video, but I need more air. I'm just going to finish this last one. This is number five. 
I'm gonna do this one kind of slow. <sighs> I remember before when I was working out, I was doing about a hundred. First, I started with like 25, 20, then 50, then 75, then 100. I got up to doing about 150 to 175 planks in a day. But it became very stressful for my body because I lost a lot of weight with planks. But it became very stressful for my body because I had a C-section. Both of my kids were C-sections. And that area would just, it hurt. It felt like it was going to open up again. So I had to stop doing planks. So right now, if you ask me to do some planks, I'd probably, I wouldn't do more than 10. But honestly, I don't think right now I, I'm in shape to do that. I have too much midsection going on. I got too much tummy. I need to lose some of that weight before I can start doing planks again. But planks are great for losing weight. They help with your thighs. They help with your arm fat. They help with your back. Posture. They help, especially with your midsection. Planks are awesome, but for some reason, my my core is not strong enough to do those yet. So I need to take it easy before I start doing planks again. But if there's one exercise I recommend, is doing that, I'm doing planks, I'm doing lunges. Reverse crunches. I, I learned that one from from Julia Julian Michaels. She has a uh, what's it called? Thirty day shred. Man, that lady can make you sweat. And it's like only like 20, 20 or twenty five minutes. I think it's like twenty minute workout. But I, gives me energy being able to be outside and breathe in that air helps me out a lot you know once I heard a doctor it was a YouTube video that I watched I don't know if it was Dr. Mercola or one of the doctors um, that I watched he said do you know that the most toxic place you could be at is in your own home and I was kind of like freaked out when he said that because there's a lot of radiation. There's your TVs. There's um, air condition. There's, it's not real air. It's just same air circulating over and over. There's not. Yeah, that's probably why I feel I felt pretty crappy. So, yeah, I can't give up my computer and I can't give up my cell phone. But I can try to improve the situation by coming out to walk. making a change and then other people that I've watched they say just imagine before we had any cars or we had any of these devices or whatever we would walk everywhere and now we don't now we become very mobile we use our cars for everything Of 
toxins in our body. We gotta purge all those things. See? We gotta do a lot of purging. You gotta help the body out, get rid of all those things. I'm tired and I'm kind of rambling now. But I just wanted to give you some of the things that I've learned. Can't give you everything, I'd probably bore you. But you gotta get out. You gotta get out. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the fresh air. Look at the beautiful trees. Beautiful trees. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just tired. The beautiful scenery. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. Oh, more people are coming. Kids were kind of sad yesterday because we didn't get to bring them to the park. We had to walk around the subdivision. So today, hopefully, we'll get out here and let them play. It's Friday. Weekend's coming. I'm kind of worried. I need to still do my workout tomorrow. And the only day I'll have off is probably on Sundays. You need to give your body some time to relax. Okay. We're done. Oh. sit for a little bit just for a little bit so I gotta get home and start cooking or I need to drink my protein shake I need to sit for a little bit oh my oh I'm tired guys but we did it we did five laps <clears throat> probably do two or three in the evening hopefully if everything goes well if nothing else comes up sometimes I gotta go help with my dad so we'll see but if not, I, I mean, if I go help out with my dad, that's fine because I get to do some exercise there too. I get to do some lifting. But yeah, thanks for hanging with me, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Hopefully it motivates you guys. Hopefully, hopefully I'm helping you with your workouts. Maybe you're watching this video. Maybe you're not. Hopefully you are. Hopefully you're getting out there and trying to get healthy like me yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon have a great day see you guys again tomorrow if you want to see what I, um, what I eat throughout the day or other things I do like if I do a workout or pretty sure you can um, see it. I'm not sure if it's under a secret group, but I'll, I'll probably go ahead and check that out when I get home. Um, make it more public. And you guys can check it out there. It's, um, it's called It's All About My Beauty and Health Time. And I also have a G my Gina Beauty page if you want to look at that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.